Alright, so I'm changing oil in the van. I didn't bother warming it up, so it's going to take about an hour for everything to drain out. Uh, but while we're doing that, I figured we'd have a look at these magnets I tend to stick on the oil filter. I've been doing this for a number of years. I've never really considered uh, what effect it actually had, uh, aside from, you know, magnets, they're going to attract metal particles inside the filter, stick them there, if they're there, they can't do any harm. But I've never actually bothered to take in a magneted oil filter apart and have a look, so I have made an effort not to disturb the magnet while taking this off and cleaning it up. So let's just nibble our way inside and see if we've got little heaps of metal particles where the magnets are. Alright, so uh, nibbling my way into this proved to be absolutely impossible since the filter is made out of way too thick metal for that to be uh, an option. No wonder. Anyway, using a hammer and a screwdriver I managed to break it apart. So let's see what we've got. So, valve stuff. Proper spring in these. I love these M filters, they have been very high quality. Let's, can we get this out? That's not coming out. I think I've managed to disturb the magnets quite a bit in my violence. But here's the hoping if they've gathered any metal particles, they're still going to be floating around in there. Messy business. Right, there's the filter. This is all going to be fine stuff. Let's have a look inside. Oh, yeah. There are definitely signs of metal sticking to the magnets. Alright, so we've got a magnet. No to the position of it, will lead there. We've got a magnet there. One there. One right there, the side of the lid, and one at the bottom. That's not going to show us anything since there's a bit of oil still sloshing around. But if uh, we've got a magnet right there, and if you look at the side, you can see that well, there's a bit of metal there. I mean, these magnets have moved since we were mounted, but we've got a big collection of metal right there. Some of you are probably screaming about my engines giving up since it's full metal, but this is pretty normal, I'd say, since this is pre-filter side. You wouldn't see this in your sump ever. This is the kind of stuff that is supposed to get trapped in your oil filter. So we've got another magnet drive there. Look at that, if I move a magnet, you can see the slosh of fine metal particles moving about. And all of this would be getting stuck in my oil filter, the actual filter element, if not for the magnets. Oh, that one's pretty good. Right on the other side of that, you can see there's a magnet, there's a bunch of crap. That's just sticking there. Now, I think these bigger pieces are aluminium, since they're not moving around with a magnet, but since we've got these little tiny, tiny iron particles around there, which are sticking to the magnet, they just seem to just be kind of trapping the aluminium there. That's fantastic! And, yeah, we're not going to see anything at the bottom. We're just magnetically holding the spring in. Let's get rid of that. Ah. That's... There's some metal down there. Oh, yeah. If I rate it, the magnet stuff's moving about. Ever so slightly. It's sunny outside, so I can't bloody well see the... LCD on the camera, I hope you guys are seeing some of this. There's definitely been some debris collection by these magnets. I'm not sure if it's actually going to make a difference. If uh, it's uh, 
uh, stuff which would actually prolong, pro prolong the life of a filter in any meaningful way. There doesn't seem to be any giant amount of stuff there, but it mostly seems to be really, really fine particles. So perhaps it's even some particles which would have otherwise just gone straight through the filter element. And here's the actual filter element. Now it's uh, this has been sitting in a diesel for 12,000 kilometers, so it's bound to be rather black. I would wager that this is an excellent filter though, because these are not cheap and they're made in Finland. They're a company which specializes in industrial filters. They just seem to kind of make vehicle filters on the side. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It seems to be. It feels papery. But it's uh, rather dense. We've got a metal metal clamp there holding the ends together. And we've got a big metal cylinder in the center there to make sure it maintains its shape. Can we get further into this? Right, getting the actual filter film out of this assembly seems to be almost impossible. And if we look in there at the top, you might be able to see that they've used some kind of like a potting compound to actually m hold the paper onto the metal surface. It's like all covered in some plasticky, uh, waxy stuff which is set very hard. So, yeah, this seems to be a pretty decent quality filter. I bought a like batch of these for my vehicles since I got tired of frams since that's pretty much the only thing you can get at a normal automotive store. See, so yeah, there you go. Magnets in the oil filter do something. The metal particles don't just travel past them. Some of them do get stuck to the magnets. And in other news, M filters made in Finland Seem to be of pretty decent quality. There you go. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Let me touch your camera. I'm going to fondle the lens.